ValveTime.net. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Valve Time Top 5. In this episode, we'll follow one of Valve's themes for this year, namely sizable Team Fortress 2 updates. At the beginning of 2012, Valve made it clear that this year was a big one for TF2, and we can only agree that they came through on their promise. What did we think were the top 5 best large Team Fortress 2 content updates? Let's find out. Number 5 For our first entry, we'll head back in time a few years to late December 2009. Keen fans might remember that this was the month of the incredibly famous War update, in which Valve pitched Demoman and Soldier players against one another to battle for an extra class specific item reward in the shape of the gunboats. As one of the final class updates, fans were extremely excited for a reveal prior to the update announcement. After several days of hints and teases, Valve revealed the update with an announcement page which was accompanied by the first fully-fledged comic, which provided backstory on the events and characters taking place within the Team Fortress 2 universe, something which Valve would continue to use and expand on even to this day. The comic's reveal also became the first direct reveal of the administrator's appearance, a design based heavily upon a fan's own concepts. By using the class-based metagame, players felt directly narratively involved in what was happening, as if they were the ones writing a little bit of the story with every kill. The update was also one of the longest-running build-ups in TF2's history, with the war going on for just over a week with daily kill counts, reveals, and contests keeping the community engaged, excited, and motivated throughout. It was inventive and clever, while also creating several trends for Team Fortress 2 updates which would follow even to this day. Those trends include the use of comics to develop lore and narrative, the involvement of the community in updates, and the use of metagame mechanics to drive buzz and excitement for new content. It helped to metaphorically publish Valve's rulebook on updates, making the War Update number 5 on our list. Number 4 We thought this list wouldn't be complete without including at least one of the Halloween events, but which of the four is the most deserving? Well, in at number 4, we chose 2010's second Anu Hell Scream Fortress Haunt Dead Halloween Special as our choice. After 2009's small yet successful Halloween Special, Valve massively expanded on the concept with the introduction of a boss character, significantly more loot, and another all-new map. While the first Halloween event started the trend, the Scream Fortress event set the mold for all future Halloween events to come by expanding on the original in a logical yet interesting fashion. With the introduction of new Halloween-specific items and the new Horseless Headless Horseman boss, the Halloween event felt truly unique, separate, new, and innovative in comparison to standard Team Fortress 2 gameplay. While it wasn't the biggest Halloween update by far, we feel the 2011's third annual Scream Fortress event was bigger in terms of content and loot. The basic redesigning of Viaduct and the not-so-scary boss really emphasized our love for Man Manor and its resident Skeleton Man. This year's Spectral Halloween special was once again an extremely fun and inventive update, yet we feel it lacked a lot of the polish and balance which the previous few updates had included. And let's not even get started on the rush yet still fun way of 666 mode. Overall, the 2010 Halloween update was innovative, new, and helped pave the way for the most fun annual events in Team Fortress 2's history, making it number 4 on our list. Number 3 our choice for number 3 might seem a little obvious to some of you out there, but with good reason. Our third choice is Man vs. Machine, the massive Player vs. Enemy update which shipped a few months ago in August 2012. Valve hinted and teased at the new game mode for over two years, including references to the infamous Tobor, as well as several other hints and hidden locations on Foundry and Doomsday, two of the newest Team Fortress 2 maps. Then, in early August 2012, the update was finally revealed through another of Team Fortress 2's notoriously difficult alternate reality games and the release of a brand new comic entitled Blood Brothers, which focuses on, spoiler alert, the deaths of Redman and Blue Tark at the hands of their long lost brother Grey Man. The update itself would have become the first true example of player versus environment gameplay in Team Fortress 2, pitting six human players of varying classes up against a massive robot horde. Introduced alongside three brand new maps, the update also brought a new canteen buff system as well as the introduction of class-specific stat improvements in order to combat the robotic armies. Best not to forget the massive amount of work that went into the robots themselves, with Valve creating specific distinctive animations, models, and voice lines in order to make the robots seem like a credible threat while also retaining Team Fortress 2's classic cartoony aesthetic design. It was the kind of massive, high-quality update many players have been asking for, and it definitely didn't disappoint, making it number 3 on our list. Number 2 A few of our choices have so far focused on how they have helped reshape the landscape of Team Fortress 2's gameplay and update methods. The same could be said for our next choice, which is potentially the biggest in TF2's history. 
Our choice for number two is the Manconomy update, which took place in late September 2010. While the update wasn't the most exciting in terms of improvements to gameplay or build up to a reveal, it was certainly innovative and game changing. The Man Economy update marked the introduction of class weapon sets and, more importantly, the Manco Store, an online shop in which players could purchase in game weapons, hats, and tools in exchange for real life money. The update was intended by Valve to see how players would develop a unique in game economy using the now infamous Manco crates, as well as increasing the game's long term profitability. Valve also treated the update as a beta for the free-to-play model which arrived almost a year later, in which Valve used data received from the Manco store to identify the potential benefits of moving the game to a free-to-play business model. While a lot of veteran players have criticized the move to free-to-play, few can deny that it helped to breathe new life into the game through a substantially larger player base and an active in-game economy. While the free-to-play model wasn't included in the Manconomy update, it was the update which showed Valve it was possible. This update helped to set the foundation for how Team Fortress 2 is today, making it number 2 on our list. Number 1 Remember for number 2 when we said it was the biggest change in Team Fortress 2 history? Eh, kinda lied, it was the second biggest. While not the biggest in scope, amount of content, or even number of hats, our choice for number 1 major update could have been none other than the Gold Rush update. Yes, you heard me, the first one, the one from 2008. The Gold Rush update marked the introduction of the new game mode known as Payload, which has since become one of the most popular and enjoyed game modes in Team Fortress 2, along with Gold Rush, one of the most played maps in the game for obvious reasons. More importantly, however, was the introduction of class and event specific achievements, along with the introduction of the original item management system. The update, while particularly light on content in comparison to most newer updates, paved the way for almost all updates to come, including most of the updates on this list. The item system currently stands as one of TF2's biggest features, while Payload holds strong as one of the game's most played and enjoyed game modes. The Gold Rush update was the one that started it all. If the War update helped to publish the rulebook for Team Fortress 2 update style, the Gold Rush update would be the author, the one update to rule them all, making it number one on our list. And that'll do it for another Valve Time Top 5 episode. Thanks for watching. Feel free to post your own opinions for this list in the comments below, as well as any ideas you might have for future episode concepts. Don't forget to head on over to our main site to get involved in the community. You can also check out our new partner site, Combine Overwiki, the definitive Half-Life and Portal wiki which we're now hosting. A link to the site is available in the description. Stay tuned for more Valve Time videos, news and reviews coming sometime in the near future. Bye for now.